Hello everyone out there, this is John. Welcome to an unboxing with me. I just want to say before I get started, Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Merry Festivus. Happy Solstice. Jolly Saturnalis. Etc. Anyway, happy holidays. And be merry. Today I'm going to be unboxing this green box from Snack Crate. And it's green for the holidays. Typically, the box they send is blue. And I know if you've been a fan of my channel for a while, you might have thought you used to do snack rate videos all the time. What happened and why are you doing it now? Well, I did it for a little bit over a year and it got to the point where I was going to start with the one that I got at the beginning when I first started. And now that I've experienced it, I decided to end it. Now, that's not saying every year they have something different, which they do. I decided that I was going to stop and do something else. Anyway, they came out with the Holiday Snack Crate box. And this box has snacks from all over the world that are generally eaten around the holidays. And this means the December winter holidays uh, in particular. So, let's go ahead and open this up. I've already pre-opened it. I took the beverage out to get it cold. Here's what you get. It says, Welcome to this month's snacking adventure. It has our social media stuff on there. You get these stickers. You see it has a wooden soldier, a gingerbread man making a snow angel, a dreidel, a melty looking snowman, um, Santa with Rudolph suggestively on his lap, and a ornament that says Snack Crate on it. Then you have the Snack Crate book, and of course they tell you everything that comes in the box. Alright, let's start out with this bag that says Merry Christmas in English, and I'm not sure what that is underneath it, but this is called Matsuyama Pizza Snack. It's from Japan. It is a light corn puff cloud coated in savory pizza dust. The crunchy gift everyone wants under the tree this year. So, pizza puff kind of Cheeto things is what I'm imagining. It's just going to check them out. They're not perfect sphere puffs, but they're like little cylinders. Lightly coated. Not a whole bunch of color to it. You have that pizza flavor scent to it. You have like the lightest puffs you can get. One crunch and like melted through. It's not as crunchy as they must have, as they're just like they compress down into almost nothing. The Matsuyama pizza snacks. They taste like the pizza Pringles, really, but in a Cheeto puff form. I like them. What do we got next? We have Walker's Holiday Crisps. The highlight of your holiday supper in a crispy potato chip. Enjoy one of three flavors from the holidays. Either Brussels sprouts, pigs in a blanket, or turkeys and stuffing. It seems that I got the Brussels sprout kind. Hopefully, I don't hate this. I like Brussels sprouts typically, but I don't know how British people cook their Brussels sprouts. Me, I usually like saute it in bacon grease until it tastes like bacon, basically. I think I would have preferred pigs in a blanket, or even turkey or stuffing. But, who knows, maybe I'll be surprised. They smell green. They look green. They're not terrible. They do have a distinguishable Brussels sprout flavor, but like the salty potatoiness of the chip itself actually goes well with that bitter note that you get from the green cabbage Brussels sprout. Surprisingly good. It's also something I wouldn't typically eat, but if it came out once a year around holiday times, I can see how that would be a treat. That, of course, was from the UK. Next up, we have. Haribo Pearl Kugel. Ring in the holiday season with these sweet fruity chews. 
covered in tiny pearls, they taste even better than they look. Looks like there's like three flavors. There's a red, there's a green, and there's like a multicolor one. Let's see if I can open this easily. Let's try a green one. They're really jelly-like in the middle. I'm not sure what the exact flavors of these are supposed to be. I'm going to try a red one just to see if it differs from the green one. I don't think I do. To me, it tastes like a generic fruitiness. All the ingredients are in different languages that I don't speak, so I can't even guess as to what flavor. You know, comment below. Tell me what flavor these are. But not bad. I do like the gelatin texture of them. That was from Germany, by the way. Next we have... This is from Poland. Figaro Pernik Bombi Apple. A sweet and perfectly spiced gingerbread filled with winter flavors of apples and cinnamon. Your new favorite comfort snack on a snowy day. This is like a chocolate cake with some kind of wafer and marshmallow. This one kind of has a little bit of damage in the shipping. So it's supposed to look like that in the middle. Let's see. It's a soft, chewy gingerbread with a cinnamon apple cream uh, gelatin jelly in the middle covered in chocolate. Not bad. It tastes like all those things. And next up, let's go with chocolate coins. These are Belgian, from Belgium. A Belgian twist on Jewish holiday tradition, chocolate coins are given to children as a gift during the celebration of Hanukkah. And if you look at these, these are actually in the shape of euros. Uh, there's the two euro coin, the 50 euro cent coin. You even have a ten dollar or ten euro note. And as you know, might know, Belgium is actually where the European Union holds their parliament or whatever they call it. There's the, the chocolate itself. It's a creamy chocolate. Nothing to complain about there. Let's grab the next one. This is the Cadbury Vanilla Mousse Snowman. And this is from Australia. Soft and creamy vanilla mousse in a Cadbury milk chocolate shell shaped into a festive wintry snowman. There's a snowman, there's a bite part of its head off here. If you ever had Cadbury chocolate, exactly what that tastes like. Vanilla mousse is light in flavor. The Cadbury chocolate just kind of overpowers the flavor profile in that. Next we have chocolate umaibo. The puffy corn umaibo snack you know and love, coated in Christmas chocolate for a sweet and salty holiday surprise. I think I tasted something like this for the Japan box, that, but it wasn't chocolate coated. So this is, well I'm predicting it's going to be like a chocolate covered Cheeto almost. It gives you a very Kit Kat like sensation. Instead of a wafer, it's that corn puff. Next up we have, this is from Germany. The Winter Creation Minstraum. This year's Winter Creation for Ritter Sport is semi-sweet chocolate filled with bits of peppermint crisp to make all your winter dreams come true. One of those Ritter Sport nuggets out. Definitely have a pepperminty smell. It's a very enjoyable mint. It's like a spearmint. Is there peppermint on here? It's just cooling. A very cooling sensation to the mouth. What else we got? This is limited edition Twix Speculatius Gewurz. Gewurz? This is from Germany as well. The Twix you know and love with a German holiday flair. A spiced shortbread cookie with caramel wrapped in chocolate will give you some gingerbread loving. So, a gingerbread cookie Twix is what I'm imagining here. There we go. That's exactly what it is. So we take a Twix bar, take out the cookie, and put a gingerbread piece in it. And chocolate, same caramel. It's tasty. Next we have Domino Stein. Yet another German one. Anyway, these are... You will find some version of these in any German Christmas market. Gingerbread marzipan and fruit jelly. 
layered together and covered in dark chocolate. There's one piece. I think it's the layers in there. It's kind of a nice complexity to it. There's the gingerbread and the jelly, a cranberry or some kind of tart berry. And the marzipan layer gives it a different texture as well. This is actually one of my favorites so far. I like it a lot. This is from the UK. This is the second thing from the UK. Cadbury Fudge Minis. Delicious and so shareable, tiny, soft fudge bites wrapped in decadent, smooth Cadbury chocolate. It's really fudge wrapped in chocolate. What kind of fudge is that? It almost tastes slightly caramely, slightly butterscotchy. Maybe it's like a, a toffee. It's not chocolate fudge, that's for sure. Anyway, I like the texture. Cadbury chocolate's always good, in my book. <sighs> this one's from Poland. It's the second thing from Poland. And it is this gigantic bar. It's like two hands worth of chocolate. And it's pretty thick, too. It's like a finger's depth. It's heavy. This is called the Czecholada Mlekzna Cookie Korzeny. And it says that there's three layers of crunchy cookie joy smothered in milk chocolate. The hint of gingerbread will fill your mouth with holiday memories. And the picture does look like it has like three different cookie levels, like a chocolate, a crispy one, and then kind of like a cookies and cream almost. And then there's chocolate on top. There it is. Even one piece, it's still very big. Very interesting. That bottom cookie is really crunchy. It has gingerbread, but I'm not getting a lot of gingery, cinnamon flavors. I'm getting a lot of crunch. Crispy crunchies. Definitely a lot of chocolate. On the outside, it's filling my mouth. With the melty chocolate and whatever that creamy layer is in there. It doesn't stay in there, but I don't speak Polish. Very tasty, though. No problems with it at all. And finally, as you know, you can get a drink with your snack crates. And they have one for the holiday crate as well. Add this in the fridge to get it cold. I'm still gonna pour it over ice. And this is from Sweden. It's called Jolmust or Jolmust. The number one soft drink on Swedish market during the holiday season. Jolmust is known for being the perfect combination of Coca-Cola and root beer flavors. Okay, so it's supposed to be some combo between cola and root beer. We got some fizz in there. The fruity-ish over there smell. Hopefully this microphone is picking up all those nice sounds as I sip from this cup. There are some like fruity spicy notes going on there. That's tasty. Now it says it's a combination between Coca Cola and root beer flavors, but I don't really, I don't really get that when I taste it. It tastes something of its own volition. It's got some fruit flavor to it for sure. Um, I can see people thinking it's cola because of the color, but to me this is like a almost like a dark fruit cola ish flavor. Very hard to describe actually. I could definitely see being excited to have this during the holiday as a special holiday beverage that's different than Coke or root beer. Yulmost from Sweden. And there you have it, the Snack Crate Holiday Edition. Hashtag Snackmas. And tell me what you think. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it. Let me know if snack crates are things you want me to bring back. Thank you for watching. I know this is quite long. I hope you have enjoyed it and you're still watching. Until next time. And I'll see you there.
Bye. Happy holidays. Ho, ho, ho.